Yes, I do. Soon we'll be joining Master Mungo Bearbab at his new outpost. It is our honor and privilege to serve. Why, it sounds like a dream come true. Ah, oh, behave yourself. Slow down. You know I don't speak your language that well yet. What you got? You find what you come for? Well, maybe. I've got to analyze it first. But if this rock is what I think it is, your people could become very rich. Oh. It's fuel ore. And it looks like there's a lot more of it near the old ruins up on the crater. Ah!
Master Mungo. There it is, R2. Our new home, the peaceful planet of Baitu. Remember, if you behave yourself, I'll put in a good word for you. Maybe he'll give you a job as well. Be careful, R2. As Master Mungo's new aid and translator, the safety of his possessions is my responsibility. I'm sure he's going to be one of the most successful merchants in the whole star system. Why, if the Fair Lab Company's deal with Baitu is successful, I see 3 po may be promoted to who knows what. At last, Artu, I would be in a position suitable to the refined skills of an android from human cyborg religion. Yeah! Oh. Hmm. Repio, what are you up to? Get this mess cleaned up. We'll be docking any moment. Yes, sir, Captain Cag. Hurry, R2. Help me get these things in order. And get yourself cleaned up as well. You must make a good impression on Master Mungo. This is a civilized part of the galaxy, not a greasy engine room. The people of Baitu are most proper. They're not going to tolerate any unkempt droids, uncouth creatures, or... Distinguished colleagues, I believe there has been a, a misunderstanding. I am C three PO. Oh! oh! No, R two. This is not the refined position I had in mind. farm colony. Something terrible is happening here. Now. If 
only Master Mungo in here. when you need one. Anyone escape? I'm afraid I don't know, sir. I think they only abducted droids, including an R2 unit who is a good friend of mine. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> what is he doing? uses R2 units to recharge himself. Translator on the Louvre crew. No, this is the end.
Oscar, how humiliating. I am not programmed to carry such a load. My joints are being crushed. The heap's treatment of us is most undiplomatic. Master Mungo, what has happened here? This used to be a thriving farm colony. Before the heap arrived with the moisture eater, that tower pulls in all rainfall. Heap needs it absolutely dry here so he can mine the new fuel ore. And the people here, including me, are beginning to die of thirst. Mana. What? You must be crazy. If you insist. Creepy. Try and get me some water. Down that ramp. There was a spring down there. See if you can fill this. I will try, sir. And watch out for guards. Oh, what a desperate situation. Master Mungo is practically finished. And Arthur was being prepared for some horrible fate. Dear, I do hope I can get this water back to Master Mungo without being discovered. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My name is c 3 p Ah, Ditoza Gidiono. Me, Fidge. Thank you. It is very dangerous here. My family must have water. But how did you get in here? Castel Tui Dasu. Digging? How clever. Maybe you can help Master Mungo. Mungo? You know Mungo? Is he all right? Oh dear! Quick, this way! Wait for me! Hucha! Una! Una! Bitch! Jump! Hiba! Whoa! Where is Fitch? There, in the pipe. They seem to have disappeared. Trepio, follow those pipes. See if you can find Fitch. He may be able to show us a way out of here. Oh, uh, yes, sir. I'm certain to end up in a pile of plants. If I could only destroy the moisture eater, our troubles would be over. Oh, shit. 
ship cleared for landing. Greetings, Heap. Is the first batch of fuel ore ready to load? The shipment is ready. I will order it to be loaded at once. Excellent. The Emperor will be pleased. And Baobab? Ah, uh, he's harmless now. See for yourself. Treat! Well, Baobab looks like the Empire got to this fuel mine first. How unfortunate for the great Baobab merchant fleet. You know the fuel rightfully belongs to the people of Baitu. I don't think they'll want it anymore. This drought is going to drive them out. Or kill them. Don't worry yourself. Tomorrow you'll be leaving this planet. I'll be taking you back in hibernation. The Emperor doesn't want to lose such a valuable prisoner. Let's go. The only way off by two is going to be on your ship. But not in hibernation. Master Mungo, huh? where are you? 3PO? Did you locate Fidge? I'm sorry, sir, but I found no sign of him. He may be a prisoner like us. And poor R2-D2. He's going to have his crystals drained for sure. R2-D2? Oh, uh, a, a counterpart of mine said an R2 unit. The heap has taken him somewhere. To his harem, no doubt. His harem? Oh! What's going on? No! To a moon. Good evening. Fitch, am I glad to see you. Master Mungo? I saw. Thanks, Fitch. Litina, where rules not Guma? He says there is a network of pipes under the quarry. He thinks we can get out and back to the village. The people of Baitu can't hold out much longer. I've got to go for help. But the only way off Baitu is going to be in that cargo ship. Even if we could get on board, I don't think I could fly it alone. Pardon me, sir, but if you had an R2 unit, it could tie into the ship's control system and... and... fly the ship. Great idea, 3PO. Ask Fitch if there's any way to get into the harem. Pisto, pisto, madula atus. Atus, atus, biasta, nokiama. He thinks there is a way into the courtyard beyond the harem guards. Tripio, go with him. See if you can free your friend R2-D2 and bring him back here. Oh, we'll try our best, sir. I know that R2 is just the one you need, sir. I'll work on a plan to get aboard that ship. I have to get through these bars by morning or it'll be too late. So this is the droid harem. A tree, tree higher. Pardon me. Tree higher, higher. Wait for me. Stand height. Slower, Fidge. All that oil has made my hands slippery. I. Ah! <gasps> if I fall, I'm programmed to smash, not fly. Oh, oh. Keep up. Oh, oh. Bring me an R2 unit. A nice big one. Immediately. Oh, no. He needs recharging again. <laughs> Listen to me, you're in great danger. The creep is not a pleasant fellow. He plans to destroy all of you. Ah, 
Art to are you with me? Art! <gasps> Art to I've been trying to warn you. To warn you all. The heap plans to drain every one of you. <gasps> oh dear. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Artu. But somehow we have to stop this madness. Master Mungo is depending on it. Ah! No, stop! You can't! Artu! Just about do it. Oh, no. Good morning. I hope you feel well today. I've brought you a droid who will put you in hibernation. One dose of this serum and you'll sleep until we can get you safely to the Emperor. I mean, too old, much too old. I swear, if you saw the tragic state of my inner workings, it would make your gyros curl. Wait, wait! Oh! Ah! Oh dear! Please, you don't know what you're doing. I, I'm 
I'm just a collection of old parts, hardly worth the trouble. They'll ruin your instruments. Ah! Uh, uh, oh my! Oh my! Oh! There's a garbage chute. Maybe that's a way in to rescue 3PO and R2. But if I fail, we'll need another R2 unit to fly that ship. Ah, uh, R2s we get. No, it's too dangerous. No worry, we dig. You too big. Good luck, Finch. Be careful. Oh. to see you. And I see you found your companion. Oh. Yes, sir. This is R2-D2. Uh, but what happened to Fitch? He went back to the harem. But now that R2-D2's here, I'm afraid his mission is a bit useless. Don't worry, Master Mongo. That little <laughs> fellow can take care of himself. Admiral Screed. Shh. Keep a lookout for Bay of Bamboo. The loading is almost complete. And don't let anyone but droids on the ship. Yes, sir. Only droids aboard that ship, huh? Well, here we go. Now, if we can get that ship off the ground, we'll use its turbo lasers to destroy the moisture eater. Oh, my! Well, <laughs> how do I look? Come on, help me into these droid parts. Be quiet. Okay, you guys. 
this is it. What? into the drive system. Even if you can only get the turbo lasers going, maybe we can take a crack at the moisture eater from the ground. What? Someone's interfacing with the ship's navigational computers. It must be Bayer I want him caught immediately. Yes, sir. Oh, there you are, finally. I've been looking all over the place for you management people. Do you have any idea what a dry environment like this can do to a servo joint? No, of course not. And a Fenray modulator? Any idea what ore dust will do to that? No, of course you don't. I squeak, I groan, and are there any auxiliary lubrication kits in the cargo hold? No, of course not. Oops. Seize him. so wrapped up with your droid harem, none of this would have happened. Tiny-minded Imperial twit. It was your useless droids that let out the R2 units. You're finished.
Well, your people should have no trouble restoring the crops with all this new empire help we found, huh, Fitch? Yes. Chalasu? Round one to you, Bayabab, but the fight is not over yet. And what a brave little guy R2-D2 turned out to be. You must be proud of him. What's that little device, 3 P O? Hmm? Oh, um, it's a sonic capsule, sir. It was a, a birthday present from R2. Oh, R2, what will I ever do without you? I know I shall never see your like again. Oh, yes, I do mean it, R2. R2? R2-D2? I don't believe it! R2, it is you! Atu! <laughs> oh, R2, you foolish, reckless, wonderfully brave little unit. What do you mean, what's all the fuss? We thought you were doomed, detonated, reduced to cosmic splinters. Oh, R2, it was horrible. <laughs> oh, thank the Maker, you're all right. R2?
Mungo here. Who's this? Mungo, this is Captain Kag. All ready for entry. Any problems down there? Come on ahead. Everything's fine. I do say love, happy ending. <laughs> <laughs>